Hello, good afternoon. Can you hear me? Yes. Hello, good afternoon. Yeah. Good afternoon, Mayra. Hello, Melanie, Esmeralda. Nice to meet you. Hello. Hello. That's good. We have nine participants. Well, eight. Very good. I'm going to share the screen. Please tell me if you can see. If you can see my screen. Pueden ver la pantalla? Me podrían indicar, por favor? Yes. Okay. That's yes. Good. yes. Okay. Good afternoon, everybody. It's a pleasure for me to be with you this afternoon. I'm going to be your instructor this course. And well, as I said in the WhatsApp group, my name is Rocio Chicas. And welcome to English Class Beginner 2. Okay. Today is the first class and it's Monday, September 5th. 2022. I will tell you a little bit about myself. So let it, uh, let me introduce myself. As I told you, my name is Rocio Chicas. I am an English teacher. I've been working in different places uh, like Centro Cultural. And in this moment, I am working for Oportunidades and for Inglés Corporativo. Okay. And in this afternoon, in this one hour class, uh, we are going to be talking and learning about transportation, vocabulary, and also simple present statements. So the, those are the two objectives we have for today's class, okay? Vocabulary for transportation, practice a conversation which illustrates that topic, and also make simple present statements using regular verbs. Okay, so that's a little bit about me. Uh, oh, and I am from San Salvador. I live here in San Salvador and I would like to know your name. So if you could please uh, tell us, I know you, you've been together one course already, but I would like to, to hear from you your name, if you want to say your occupation, your age and where you are from. Okay, for example, you can say, my name is Rocio, I am from San Salvador, and I'm a teacher. So, can you please, can somebody start? Who would like to start? Who would like to start? Can Hello. You? Okay. <laughs> okay, Hello, my, my name is Jonathan, and I am from Chalatenango. Nice, very good. I lived in Chalatenango uh, Thank you. two years ago. It's a nice place. So welcome to the class and nice to meet you, Jonathan. Thank you. Okay, someone else? Hi. Okay. Hello, my name is Mayra and I'm from Sensuntepeque. Okay, a nice city too. Far away, far away. <laughs> Okay, next person. Hello. I'm from Jocelyn, pardon, my name is Jocelyn. I'm from Abacuilta. Okay, the city of the pupusas. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hello. Hello, Catherine. Uh, my name is Catherine. I'm from Abacuilta. Okay, so you can make pupusas, right? <laughs> no. Yeah. Uh, nice. Okay, so we have Mayra, Jonathan, Jocelyn, and... Hi. Yes, Esmeralda. My name is Esmeralda. I am from El Salvador. I live in Sayapango. You live in Sayapango. Okay, so we are close. 
Hi. Hi, Victoria. Hello. My name is Victoria. I live in Santa Ana City. You live in Santa Ana, okay. It's a beautiful city too. Daniela? Hello. Hello. I, I am Daniela. I am from San Juan Opico. I have some friends in Opico. Good, Daniela. Okay. Next. Hello, my name is Delmi Arely. I am from El Salvador and live in Soyapango. Okay, Delmi, you live in Soyapango. Hi. 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 My name is Karen. I am from San Pedro, Peru, La Pan. San Pedro, Peru, La Pan. Okay, that's what I love about these classes. We have people from different places in El Salvador. So that's great. Who's missing? Mr. Quintanilla. Hello. Hello, Daniel. Hello, coach. I am Daniel Isaac. My name is Daniel Isaac. Uh, I live in Santa Ana. Okay, Santa Ana. Good. So we have two people from Santa Ana. Thank you, Daniel. Hey, coach. Hello. Hello, Melanie. My name is Jancy Montes. I am from Delgado City. Oh, Ciudad Delgado. Okay, good. And we are missing Margarita and Gabriela. Hello, my name is Margarita Panameño. I'm from El Salvador. I live in Cuscatancingo. Cuscatancingo. Thank you, Margarita. And finally. Hello. Hello, Gabriela. My name is Gabriela. I am from San Miguel. Wow, we have someone from San Miguel City. I think it's the first time that I have a student from San Miguel. Okay, so welcome to the class, everyone. Um, okay, I will continue sharing this with you. Rem uh, okay, thank you for sharing your information. Okay, um, everybody at this point must be in the WhatsApp group, okay? Can you please raise your virtual hand if you are in the group, in the WhatsApp group, please? Raise your virtual hand. Ahí donde dice reacciones, levantar la mano, raise hand. If you are in the WhatsApp group, si están en el grupo de WhatsApp, levante su mano virtual. Donde dice reacciones, hay un emoji allí y ahí está la opción levantar la mano o raise hand. Ok, we have five students. No la baje, aún no la baje. Ok, eh, what about Mel, Jancy, Mayra, Victoria, Daniela y Gabriela? No están aún en el grupo de WhatsApp. No, teacher, yo no me pude meter, me tiraba error el, el link que me mandaron. Ah, ok. Entonces, le voy a compartir, en este caso, eh, el enlace. Aquí ahorita se los voy a enviar. Bueno, se los voy a enviar. Eh, a, a ver si está conectada desde el teléfono o el computadora. Desde la computadora. Ok, eh, puede abrir el WhatsApp en la computadora. Sí. Le voy a enviar aquí el enlace y para que puedan este, unirse por medio del enlace. ¿Okay? O si sus compañeros tienen su número, tal vez ellos le pueden enviar el, el enlace. ¿Sí? Eh, ¿Victoria? Hola, ahorita estoy intentando. Daniela. Yo ya estoy en el grupo. Excelente. Gabriela. Gracias. Ahorita en un momento, Ticho. Ok. Bueno, 
Entonces ya podemos bajar la mano. Yeah, you can. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, so that was the first thing. Now, let's uh, talk about homework evaluations. Bueno, ustedes ya saben, solamente son algunos recordatorios sobre el 80% que es necesario obtener en promedio en las tareas y evaluaciones para poder completar y aprobar el curso satisfactoriamente. Las tareas pues se encuentran en la plataforma. Ahora, otra pregunta. Levante su mano, raise your hand, si usted está enrolado, matriculado, registrado en la plataforma de ingléscorporativo.net. Okay. Si no lo está, vamos a ver. ¿Quién es? Entonces, Melanie todavía no está. Melanie. Ahorita estoy en eso, teacher. Ok, Catherine, Guatemala. ¿Cuál sería esa página? Es ingléscorporativo.net. ¿Qué es donde están las tareas? Correcto, sí. es la plataforma. Sí. Ah. Ya, yeah. sí, sí, es fácil. Ah, sí, ah, sí. es online.inglescorporativo.net, sí. ¿verdad? A todos se les brindó un usuario, eh, yeah. una contraseña, ¿verdad? Y para poder enrolarse en, en, en la plataforma, okay, en el módulo 2. Bueno, si alguien no tiene, no está aún y necesita apoyo o ayuda, pues puede escribirme directamente al chat y le podemos ayudar. Ok, lo ideal es que usted trabaje en los ejercicios justo después de cada clase que tiene en, ya pueden bajar su mano. Eh, tienen en mente, ¿verdad? Ofrezco la información, el conocimiento y lo puede poner en práctica. Usted puede adelantar todo lo que pueda, no es necesario, ¿verdad? Ir justo junto con la clase, puede adelantar, ¿verdad? Eh, usted puede hacerlo. Todas las tareas de los temas ya cubiertos tienen que estar completas antes de cada viernes a la medianoche, ya que se, se envía un registro a Insafor cada semana. Así que terminamos jueves las clases y pues ese día mismo pueden pues avanzar lo de la semana, ¿verdad? Para que esté antes del viernes. Bien, al material de apoyo, pues cada profesor se los comparte en formato digital. Eh, yo les estaré enviando algunas, algunos este, links, enlaces a ejercicios para que puedan practicar. Algunos serán durante la clase y otros pues serán también de tarea. Veamos qué más. Tareas y evaluaciones. Bueno, estamos en la first week, semana 1, week 1, que corresponde al 5, del 5 al 9 de septiembre. Entonces, en esta semana, esos cuatro días, usted tiene que avanzar en la sección, veremos, sección 1 y sección 2, ¿verdad? Son cortas, así es que se, las podemos ir haciendo, ¿verdad? El día. Luego, la siguiente semana, estaremos del 12 al 16 de septiembre, veremos la sección 3 y ya tenemos el first midterm, el primer midterm, the first exam. Y luego la semana 3, del 19 al 23 de septiembre, estaremos trabajando en la sección 4. Y finalmente en la última semana, del 26 al 29 de septiembre, la sección 5 y el examen final. Final exam. ¿Alguna pregunta, comentario sobre esto? Pueden bajar su mano, de hecho, si ya... Ok. Gracias. Y ahora sí, si tiene alguna pregunta o comentario, puede levantar su mano. Ok. Ahora, recordemos las normas de convivencia, aunque es una eh, clase virtual, pues siempre debemos de seguir algunas lineamientos. Pues mantener siempre eh, apagado el micrófono porque, eh, bueno, sabemos que a veces hay ruidos externos que pudieran distraernos, como el señor del pan, ¿verdad? Eh, <ríe> o, u otras ladridos de perritos. A veces sucede eso, ¿verdad? Que no está en nuestras eh, manos controlarlo, así es. Pero sí está en nuestras manos controlar el botón de silencio. Y bueno, cuando usted participe, sí, con todo gusto, abre su micrófono y nos, 
y participa. Bueno, en este programa no se pasa la, la, la asistencia a, aquí, ¿verdad? Oralmente, pero sí se le toma en cuenta. Debe poner su nombre completo, tal como lo, lo puedo ver allí en sus pantallas. Excelente. No veo ninguno Huawei o Samsung Galaxy A12 o algo así, ¿verdad? Así es que excelente. That's great. La cámara encendida, participación activa, porque es un, aprender un idioma implica participar mucho para poder a, aprender. También usamos los chats, el chat aquí en la clase, pues con propósitos educativos, ¿verdad? También les pido a veces su participación escrita por el chat. Levantar la mano, pues ya, ya vi que sí. Pueden ver ahí en la, el botoncito de levantar la mano para cualquier pregunta, duda, comentario que tenga. Y pues mantenemos el respeto siempre en la clase, ¿verdad? Eh, el, como dijo Benito Juárez, vea el, res, el respeto al derecho ajeno es la paz. Todos tenemos derechos y deberes y eso es importante para mantener la convivencia. Bueno, pues ya conocen ustedes sobre eso. Y vamos a iniciar entonces en nuestra clase de hoy. Ok, so we have today's topic, which is transportation vocabulary. And we're going to start our class with an exercise for vocabulary. Ok, give me a moment. In, in this, um, per, perdón, no estaba compartiendo la pantalla, ¿verdad? Pensé que sí la estaba compartiendo. Ok. Well, you know about that. So let's start with transportation vocabulary. And we are going to start with an exercise, ok? Just give me a moment. I will, ok. In a moment, in a moment. Ok, ¿can you see the screen? ¿Pueden ver la pantalla? Yes, ok. Yes. So yes. Tell me if it's true or false. Yes. Car, true or false? True. 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 Airplane, true or false? False. 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 Okay, helicopter. True. 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 Truck. True. 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 Car, Car. Airplane. 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 Helicopter. 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 Train. 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 Car. Car. Okay, yes. So those are the ones. Bike. Bike. Bus. 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 Bang. Bang. And truck. 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 So those were the vocabulary for different types of transportation. Can you tell me other other types of transportation you know? Mm. Okay. 
other term. Uh, yes, Jonathan? Uh, uh, animals uh, like a horse. Great horse, yes, great idea, okay. Yes, it's a mean of transportation. Other means of transportation? By the sea? In the sea? In the ocean? Uh, motorcycle? Okay, the motorcycle, it's very popular now here in our country, right? And very useful. The motorcycle. Thank you, Daniel. Other types of transportation? Other means of transportation? Boat? The boat, exactly. When we are in the Coatepeque Lake or in Apulo Lake, we need the boat. Very good. Thank you so much for your participation. Now, can you please raise your hand if you work? Los que trabajan, if you work, can you raise your hand? If you work. Okay, if you study, si usted estudia, besides English classes, if you, if you study in the university, the school. Okay, good. So we, we transport every day, right? Or if we are housewife, if we work in the house, si trabajamos en casa, también nos transportamos, ¿verdad? We need to go, we need to go to the supermarket. Um, or we go to, uh, to other places. So we need to, we need to move, right? So uh, the question here is, how do you get to work? Or how do you get to school? ¿Cómo se va al trabajo? ¿Cómo se va a la escuela? ¿Cómo llega a la escuela o al trabajo? Okay. We have different options like, I take the bus. Usamos el verbo take. I take the bus or I take the train. Well, we don't use trains in our country anymore. Yeah, no, verdad? I was in the past only. But in other countries, people use the train. Or we have now another option, the taxi, right? I take a taxi or I take an Uber. <laughs> okay, good. Another, well, another way is by car. I drive my car. Okay. I drive my car. Another one is walk. Okay. I walk to work. I walk to school. If it's near your house, it's near your house. So you can walk. And finally, I ride a motorcycle or I ride a, a bicycle or a bike. Okay, so we have different verbs. Take, drive, walk, and ride. Walk, we don't pronounce the L. We don't say walk, no, it's walk, okay? So please, you can repeat. Take. 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 Drive. 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 Walk. 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 Without the L. No pronunciamos la L. It's una silent letter. It's, it's Walk. 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 Ride. 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 Okay, very nice. Okay. Now, let's look at the structure of these sentences. We have the subject. We have the verb and we have the complement. As easy as that. I take the bus. I drive my car. I walk to work. I ride a motorcycle. Or you can say, I use my boat. Okay, but look at this example. How does she Get to work. Ya no estoy hablando de mí. Ahora estoy hablando de quién. De ella. De ella. She, right? She. How does she get to work? Ah, we have different ways. 
A ver, ¿quién me ayuda a leer? ¿Me? She takes the bus. Okay, continue, please. Continue, Victoria. She is, okay. The, she takes the bus, the train, a taxi. She drives her car. She walks to work. She walks to school. She rides a motorcycle. A bis, uh, I don't know. Bicycle. Bicycle, thank you. Bicycle. Thanks to you, Victoria. Okay, so what do you notice in these verbs? Takes, drives, walks, and rides. What do you notice? What's different from this one? The uh, different is uh, in, in the question. Uh, tiene un auxiliar. Las, la pregunta tiene un auxiliar. Eh, y en la respuesta ya va, ya no está en su forma base el verbo. Ya está en tercera persona. Excellent. Thank you, Daniel. Yes. When we talk about the third person, estamos hablando de la tercera persona singular. He, she, and it. He, she, and it. Third person singular. We use the auxiliaridad in questions and in affirmative sentences, we add the S. Ponemos la S al verbo. So, in this case, take, takes, drive, Drives, walk, walks, ride, rides. Okay? ¿Por qué? Because it's third person singular. La tercera persona singular. She, he, or it. O también, en, en, instead of a subject pronoun, en vez de un pronombre, puede haber un nombre personal. For example, Caroline. Or, um, Guillermo, okay, or an animal, for example, can say my dog, okay, and it's third person singular, okay, great, and we have here summarize the grammar points, subject per complement, and in the negative form, the same subject plus donor doesn't plus the verb. So we have here the different different examples. I would like a volunteer to read the examples. A volunteer to read the examples, please. Volunteer or please. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Jonathan. Um, I ride a bike in the park. You take a taxi. He rides a motorcycle to work. She rides a motorcycle to work. It runs fast. We walk home. You take the bus in the bus stop. They have a nice car. Thank you so much, Jonathan. Yeah, so you can see here different examples. Okay, yes. In the third person, as you can see, he, she, and it, we add the S. Right? He rides a motorcycle, she rides a motorcycle to work, or it runs fast. Okay, corre rápido. Okay, do you have any questions about this structure? No question. Excellent. This is, this is very important because it's the same structure in the present in the past and in the future. Subject, verb, complement. Subject, verb, complement, okay? But this is the present, simple. Okay, good. Now, this is affirmative. Let's go for the negative. In the negative form, we use auxiliaries. The auxiliary verb do, but in the negative form, do not or don't. 
And in the third person singular, does not or doesn't in the contracted form. We have the examples. Uh, I need another volunteer to read the examples in the negative form. Sin miedo. Sin miedo al éxito. Okay, Esmeralda. I don't ride a bike in the park. You don't take a taxi. He doesn't ride a motorcycle to work. She doesn't ride a motorcycle to work. It doesn't run fast. We don't walk home. You don't take the bus in the bus stop. They don't have a nice car. Nice pronunciation. Thank you so much, Jocelyn. Yes, so you see, we just, we, the only thing we do, lo único que hicimos fue ponerle don't o ponerle en doesn't. Ahora bien, uno, hay que recordar que la tercera persona cuando lleva el auxiliar doesn't, Entonces al verbo no le ponemos la S. No se la ponemos. ¿Por qué? Porque ya te, estamos usando un auxiliar que nos indica que es tercera persona, ¿verdad? Ya tenemos el auxiliar. Así que el verbo va a ir en su forma base. ¿Ok? ¿Ok? So far so good. So far so good. Easy. Super easy. Yes. <laughs> English is a piece of cake. It's pan comido. It's a piece of cake. Yes. Okay, so, so far so good. Now let's go to a practice. Okay. We use a simple present to talk about facts, routines, habits, likes and dislikes. Para eso lo usamos, para hablar de hechos, cosas que ya son así. Routines. Cosas que hacemos todos los días, habits, hábitos en general, likes, las cosas que nos gustan y las cosas que no nos gustan, dislikes. Ok, so I have, you have six sentences and you have to complete the sentences with the correct form of the following verbs. We have the verb like, have, sleep, wake up, hate, eat, and brush. Okay, so read the sentence and choose the verb and you have to put it in the correct form. If it's third person, you have to put the S. You have to add the S to the verb. Okay, I will give you, I will give you some time to write the sentences in your notebook, okay? A ver, um, a ver si empezamos a compartir aquí en el chat, tal vez la forma de la primera oración, el verbo, my brother. Uh, coach, I have a question. Uh, yes, uh, por ejemplo, este en Wake Up, uh, para decir que mi mamá se levanta muy temprano por las mañanas, uh, ¿qué palabra lleva, qué verbo, o sea, dónde lleva la, la S o okay? qué? Ah, la lleva uh, el, en el verbo wake. 
wait, wait. Ajá. Ah, ok. Es okay. una preposición para ah. hacer la, esa expresión. Pero la, la lleva en el verbo. Ok, thank you. You're welcome, Daniel, and thank you for your question. Ok, so Jonathan share the verbs. Ajá, pero vamos a conjugarlos de acuerdo al sujeto. Ok, entonces tenemos, por ejemplo, my brother, my brother. ¿Cuál sería aquí? El verbo. Bueno, Jonathan dice que es hate, pero como es my brother, ¿Cómo voy a, a, a conjugar el verbo? Le vamos a agregar la S. La, la S. Only the S. Excelente. Ya lo puso ahí. Okay. Jonathan. My brother hates traffic in rush hours. Ok. Mi hermano odia el tráfico en las horas pico. My brother hates traffic in rush hours. Teacher, disculpe. Hola. Hello, Jeremy. Elizabeth. Así que me voy conectando. Se me había olvidado que ahora empezaban las clases. Ah, ok. <laughs> Welcome to the class. Ok, my Rocío, chicas. And we are doing this exercise. You have to complete the sentences with the correct form of the verb. Ok. Um, number two, sentence number two. A ver, ¿quién nos da la respuesta? Who gives the answer of the sentence number two? I usually... I usually sleep seven hours at night. Very nice, Esmeralda. Thank you. I usually sleep seven hours at night. Okay. Cuando pronunciamos sleep, la S es así como ok sleep ok ok Ajá. I usually sleep 7 hours at night ok, number 3 my mother wakes up very early in the morning excellent my mother wakes up Wake up, congratulations, okay. My mother wakes up very early in the morning. Okay, number four, my cat. My cat eats a lot of cat food. Excellent, yes, it's correct. My cat eats, le ponemos la S porque mi gato es tercera persona singular. My cat eats a lot of food. And number five, they... Number five. Number five. Only one volunteer, only one. They, they eat their teeth after each meal. Okay, ya usamos el eat. Es otro verbo. They. They brush. Sorry, they brush. Yes, Jonathan. They brush. Sí. They brush. They brush. Y sí. aquí tenemos la picture. They brush their teeth after each meal. Ellos se cepillan los dientes después de cada comida. They brush their teeth after each meal. And finally, number six. We have a small house. Thank you, Jocelyn. We have a small house. Tenemos una casa pequeña. We have a small house. Very nice. Okay. Excellent. Congratulations. Okay. Any questions so far? No question. No questions. Okay. You are very intelligent, guys. Very smart. Yes. <laughs> and oops. We have oh, no sé por qué me sale así, permítame. Un momentito, a ver si puedo arreglarlo.
Tamam tamam. Gelsek bakayım problem mi? Ay me quedo muy bien. Give me a moment, please. Okay, now I'm going to share the screen. And you see here the same. Simple present statements, affirmative and negative. I walk to school. I don't live far from here. You ride your bike to school. You don't live near here. He works near here. He doesn't work downtown. She takes the bus to work. She doesn't drive to work. We live with our parents. We don't live alone. They use public transportation. They don't need a car. Okay? So don't is the contracted form of do not. Doesn't is the contracted form of does not. We have more exercises here. You have to complete the following sentences using simple present affirmative in negative, okay? There are 14, les voy a dar una cada una, okay? So, Melanie, number one. Karen, number two. Daniel, number three. Okay. Victoria, number four. Jocelyn, number five. Catherine Jasmine, six. Mayra, seven. Jeremy Lisbeth, Eight, number eight. Number nine, Esmeralda Yanes. Number ten, Daniela Magali. Number eleven, Jonathan Vladimir. Number twelve, Delmi Areli. Gabriela, number thirteen. And Margarita Elizabeth Panameño, number fourteen. My brother. Okay, let's do that exercise, please. Hagamos el ejercicio. Teacher, disculpe, ¿cuál me dijo a mí? Jeremy, I, let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think it was number eight. ¿Quién tiene number seven? Who has number seven? Mayra, okay, so Jeremy. Ay. Number eight. Ocho, eight. Ah, okay, gracias. Welcome.
Okay, are you ready? Number one, Melanie, are you ready? Teacher, fíjese de que estaba pendiente de otras cosas también, pero eh, me podría ayudar ahí, por favor. Okay, of course. I, eh, yo, I, I get up at 6 a.m. I get up six. I get up eight. I get Así. up. I get up at six a.m. and I don't get up at five a.m. I get up. Don't. I get up at six a.m. I, I get up at six a.m. I don't get up at five a.m. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm, let me see if I can. Mm -hmm. Estamos bien ahí? Yes. Okay, I get up and over here I don't. I don't get up. Yes, I don't get up. <laughs> I'm fine. Okay, number two. A ver, ¿a quién le di el número dos? Number two. Quizás se los desconectó. Ah, ok. Ok. Internet problems. A volunteer for number two. My father. Uh -huh. Ok. Shaves every day. Yes, my father shaves. I ask James. Shaves. Um, my father doesn't shave, shave every day. Okay, in negative, my father doesn't shave every day. Okay, thank you. Number three. Good afternoon. Okay, Daniel. And number three. A ver, a ver. Number three. Eh, mi teacher. Okay, Daniel. Margot doesn't take a shower in the afternoon. Exactly. Doesn't take. Thank you. Number four. My sister brushes, brushes her thing every day. Excellent. My sister brushes her teeth every day. Number five. Uh, the negative four. If My parents don't watch TV in the evenings. My parents don't watch. Don't watch. Okay, good. Thank you. Okay, number six. Uh, Karina, put one makeup. Yes. No. Karina puts on. Yes. Uh, yes. On. Yes. Thank you. Puts on makeup at six thirty every day. Okay. And está Karina putting on. Uh, Karina puts on makeup. Uh, seven. Flor watches movies on Saturday. Watch the movies. Ma, number eight. I think it. I think it's Jeremy Lisbeth. Uh, my mother won't be able to make dinner on the weekend. My mother doesn't make. 
Okay. My mother doesn't make. Okay. Doesn't make dinner on week. Number nine. They study math on Fridays. Easy, right? Number ten. My child takes a bath every day. Yes, my child takes a bath. Nice. Correct. My, number 11. Uh, my sister goes to bed at 10 p.m. on weekdays. Very good. Goes to bed. And 12. Susan is a studies English from seven fifteen to nine forty five. Great. Yes, Susan studies English. Thirteen. Carlos, Carlos, don't eat breakfast on Sunday because he gets up late. Okay. Carlos, Carlos don't eat or Carlos doesn't eat? Don't. A ver. Carlos es tercera persona singular. Or he. Entonces sería Carlos doesn't eat. ¿Verdad? Carlos doesn't eat, doesn't eat. Because he gets okay. up late on Sundays. Mm -hmm. Carlos doesn't eat. Porque es tercera persona singular. Y finalmente, finally, number 13. My brother. My brother don't brush his teeth 11, at 11 p.m. He brush his teeth at 12 p.m. Okay, my brother. My brother is third person singular. Es tercera persona singular. Entonces. Doesn't. Doesn't, exactly. Doesn't. Doesn't brush his teeth at 11 because he brushes at 12. Okay. Very nice. ¿Cómo estuvo el ejercicio? Super easy. Super easy, exactly. Great. Very great. Okay, congratulations. Now it's 1.52. We only have eight minutes and we have here a conversation practice um, um, about a nice car. Okay, I will, um, I will read the conversation for you, okay? Nice car, Jason, is it yours? No, it's my sister's. She has a new job and she tries to work. Is her job here in the suburbs? No, it's downtown. Ah, oh, my parents work downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. The bus or the train? The train doesn't stop near our house, so they take the bus. So they are talking about uh, transportation. I will send you to um, some rooms. Lo voy a mandar a las salitas. So you can practice the conversation. And also, you can do the next activity, another activity. Sorry. You will talk about your daily routine. You practice the conversation and you speak or talk about your daily routine. For example, tell me about your daily routine, Jonathan. Oh, Jonathan will say, I wake up at 10 a.m., then I take a shower at 10, 15 a.m. I eat my breakfast at 11 a.m. Uh, at noon, I don't have lunch until 3 p.m. 
after that, I watch TV. In the evening, I do my homework and I go to bed at 11 p.m., okay? That's just an example, okay? But you have here different activities. Wake up, get up, wake up, despertarse, get up, levantarse. Have a shower, right? With shampoo and soap. Comb your hair, get dressed, put on your clothes, get dressed, vestirse. Have breakfast, desayunar, brush your teeth, go to school, have classes, have lunch, almorzar, go back home, do your homework, have dinner, cenar, watch TV, go to bed. If you know other activities, you can. Daniel, you have a question? Uh, yes, teacher. Uh, what is uh, the difference uh, between wear up and make up? Uh, may, can you repeat, please, the difference between? Eh, no se le escucha, no sé si solo él soy yo. Le creo que el micrófono tengo un poco ah, más. Ya me lo quité. No se eh, what is the, the difference eh, between eh, wake up and uh, make up? Wake up and make up. Uh -huh. Make up es despertarse. Make, con M, make up es maquillarse. Oh. Bueno, make up es maquillaje. Uh -huh. Ok, thank you. Les voy a enviar esto en el group, en el WhatsApp group para que tengan la información. Y ahorita hago las salitas para que puedan practicar la conversación y también puedan practicar. Eh, solo que permítanme que no. Ok, solo que Ok, váyanse a la salita ahorita, por favor, please. Y ya les mando la, la información. Ok. Ok. Yo seré Ashley y tú, Jason. Ok, me parece bien. Nice car, Jason. It is yours? No, it's my sister. She has a new job and she drives to work. Is her job here in the car, Jason? It is your No, it's my sister. She has a new job and she drives to work. Is her job? Se ha puesto de parte de mí. 
<ríe> Ahí vienen a regañarnos. <ríe> es broma. Es que, es que estábamos, eh, bueno, practicamos una vez la conversación, la de Nice Car, pero ahorita estamos un poco con el otro, imagen que nos compartió que no mucho la estamos entendiendo. Okay, in this, uh -huh. you have to talk about your daily routine, como lo que hace todo uh -huh. el día, ¿verdad? Solo va a decir, I wake up, y luego va a decir la hora, I get up at, I have a shower at, I comb my hair, I get uh -huh. dressed, I have my breakfast, I brush my, my teeth, I go to school or I go to work, uh -huh. I have classes eh, at, in Zoom, via Zoom, at 1 p.m. Then I have lunch at 2 p.m. Uh, I do my homework in the afternoon. I have dinner at 7 p.m. I watch the TV or I watch uh, YouTube and then I go to bed. Mm -hmm. Okay? It's about your daily routine. Okay. Pero si no, bueno, porque ya es la hora, it's 2 p.m. Lo podemos dejar de tarea, hacer, escribir la rutina diaria y mañana la podemos compartir. Uh -huh. Chef, mire, yo no he estado tan pendiente de la clase porque estaba tratando de unirme al grupo de WhatsApp, pero no me agarra. No sé por qué. Ok, si gusta, compártame su número y vamos a ver si puedo unir. No estoy segura si puedo eh, unirla yo, pero voy a intentar. Vaya, es el 7788-0580. Okay. Melanie Mons. Sí. Thank you. Voy a, voy a cerrar ya los grupos because it's. Okay. Okay. Teacher, thank you. Okay, it's two, it's two oh two. <laughs> okay, guys, um, how did you feel in this first class? ¿Cómo se sintieron en esta clase? I would like to hear some, some comments. Very good. Okay, very good. <laughs> What did you learn today? ¿Qué aprendimos hoy? ¿Qué aprendieron hoy? My daily routine. Oh, your daily routine. Okay, different activities, right? Okay. What about the transportation? Sorry. Different transportations. For example? Mm. A train, car. car. Motorcycle. Taxi. Bus, train. Aeroplane. Airplane. Helicopter. Did we learn the, the verbs that we use. For example, with the motorcycle and the bike, we say, I. Entre cortados se le escuchó. Ah, sorry. What is the verb that I use with motorcycle or a bike? I ride. Dr oh. taxi. With taxi? Drive. Drive. I drive a taxi or I take a taxi? I take a taxi. I take a taxi. I drive my car. You drive your car, but you take a taxi. Bus? I take, a, I bus. take a bus. I take a bus. Okay, very nice. Okay, um, homework. 
uh, please work in the section one, section two in what well, section one exercises one and two in the platform. Y si pueden escribir su daily routine, ok? Eh, así para que lo tengan como más en clarito desde la mañana, morning, afternoon, evening. Lo que hago en la mañana, en la tarde y en la noche, ok? Mañana lo compartimos en la clase, ok? It was a pleasure to meet you and to see you, okay? So have a nice rest of the day and see you tomorrow. Okay. See you tomorrow. Thank you for the class. See you tomorrow. Good afternoon. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Bye. 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 B